I don't really like this GoPro mic adapter the way it is because when it's plugged into the GoPro it kind of just hangs there and you have to find a way to if you're using a helmet you have to find a way to mount it to the helmet or however you have it you know so <clears throat> I complained about that in, in one of the other videos so what I did is I searched and I actually found this product Ulanza and what it does is it's a new GoPro uh, cover and it has a slot down here where you put the GoPro mic adapter in I believe so I'm doing a little unboxing real quick I'm gonna try to mount it up and see see how it works so let's try it All right guys, so like I said, we're gonna take a look at this Ulanza cover for the GoPro and the mic adapter is right under it. So it's all in one case. So we're gonna check this out, open it up here. See what comes with it. Mm, it looks like it comes with Two little stickers or something and then some some little advertising card uh, and then of course the case so again the GoPro goes up here and the mic adapter is down here so it's all in one case and then you just mount it easily um, the back of this, it has a little, a little tab here and you push that and then this slides out to load it easily. So we'll put this in here like that, slide this back in. until it clicks and it's good it doesn't move around it's in there so you still have the hold of power record and then the slot here for so now let's see how we gotta get this the mic adapter in there I'm assuming it would be this way What is this open at all? Come on, I do Alright, so I just slid the wire through and just pushed it in. And pretty tight so it's not gonna it's not gonna come out or move really. So this is one of the things I was worried about. I'm not sure how this wire, you know what I mean? The way it bends, I don't like the way it bends like that. I'm wondering if that's why they have a problem with the audio, like getting static and stuff because of the way the wire has to bend. I don't know why they put a, a 90 degree plug on here. They should have just did a straight plug and it would have just went right in. It won't have so much bend, but the way the wire bends, but we'll try it out. So now on this side we have, and we can plug our mic right into there, and then we'll run the wires and try to run it into the helmet. See, let's try it like that. And just like that, we have it mounted. <coughs> so here it is mounted onto the front. Uh, I have the mic plugged in on this side of the mic adapter. Mic adapter plugged in on this side to the GoPro. Uh, I just uh, kind of kind of mounted the thing to the clip temporarily just to try out. 
And then if I could show you, see if I could get it in there. I stuck the wire up underneath the cheek pad, and that's the the mic, the purple panda mic uh, stuff there under the cheek also. So that's it. Try that out. Uh, hopefully the angle and everything is good because this doesn't go up anymore. It's hitting here in the back. But because of the vent here, I had to mount it just under that. It could have probably went a little higher, but if, if the angle needs to be adjusted, I could just rip this off, put another one higher. Try it out. What's up guys? What's up YouTube? We riding. Look at the snow. Beautiful snow covered grass. It didn't stick much to the floor. To the street, but stuck to the grass. And just going out for a quick ride to try out this new case. Got to be careful. I don't know if there's any. Yeah, it's slippery. Black ice. Woo. Shit. My feet are slipping. Woo. Had to be careful there. Slippery. So, taking a quick ride, like I said, try out this new new case I have mounted on the helmet. Uh, pretty cool because underneath the GoPro, it has a spot for the the mic adapter, so it's all it's all in one case mounted onto the helmet, which is cool because. Before I was like, well, you got this mic adapter hanging from the GoPro then you got to worry about how you're gonna mount that you got to Velcro it or something to the helmet Popo's waving me on here Really this is just to try out the uh, new case and see how the, the audio works with the purple panda mic uh, connected to the GoPro adapter because before I was having issues and I had to get another little adapter for uh, TRRS to TRS so that I could use the purple panda mic with the GoPro adapter so hopefully this audio is working because if I'm taking this cold ride to try all this out and it doesn't work I'm gonna be a little heated as I have been a lot lately because of so many issues I've been having I'm gonna take a nice, nice little ride here though. Not too short, not too long. Cause I am on an illegal bike right now. <laughs> oh, I'm breaking the law, breaking the law. over here
guess I should have snapped this helmet and the little button thing is flapping around hitting the helmet. I don't know if it's going to be able to hear that in the audio, if the audio even works. So yeah, I'm in the process of getting this bike that I won here from Everything's Regular. I won this in a raffle. And I'm currently in the process of getting the salvaged title changed to a rebuilt title. So then I got a couple little things I'm going to do to it. Uh, and have this street legal and ready for next riding season. Hopefully everything goes well. <clears throat> so yeah, it snowed here yesterday in Connecticut. Not too bad, but enough just to cover certain areas like 40 degrees right now well maybe not right now but the high today is 40 degrees so right now I don't know maybe 36 37 if that could be lower because it is cold main things uh, during the winter just gonna like I said, try to get it uh, the title straightened out and changed to rebuilt so that I can have it registered and ready for next season. Uh, I'm gonna uh, change all the oil and stuff. Three hole oil change. what else um, I'm gonna put new spark plugs in it just because I don't know when the last time they were changed uh, I have some SV some used ones that I got from uh, my co-worker good friend but some used SVT bone shaker slip-ons to put on here So that's going to be uh, pretty cool. Can't wait to put those on. Hear how it sounds. But the only thing with those is he took them off of his 2011 Street Glide. And this is a 2018 Road King. So the exhausts are different sizes. On his, they're both, I believe, one and three quarters, I believe. I may be wrong. Uh, if I'm wrong, you can comment down below and chastise me. Um, and on mine, I believe one side is one and three quarters, but the other one, I believe, is two and a quarter. So one side's bigger, and one side should fit fine, and the other one is not gonna fit. So, I already purchased a reducer, if you want to call that, reducer, adapter, that hopefully will work out. So I'm pretty sure it's got to be low to mid 30s. And uh, I'm wearing uh, some North, oh Carhartt, I thought these were North Face. Some Carhartt winterish type gloves with insulation because I knew my hand my hands are still I could feel a little bit numbness but not as bad as if I was wearing those leather ones I know last time whew, hands got numb quick so right now I feel it a little on my fingertips but not too bad I got the helmet so my face isn't isn't really that bad only my neck I should have put a a neck gaiter on but golf 
course over here. Bunch of geese and it's cool. So about this Ulanza, I, I guess it's pronounced. I'm not sure, sorry if I said it wrong guys. Ulanza looks like. Ulanzi, maybe? I don't know. Um, but this cover, this new GoPro cover that I bought, <coughs> I like it because, like I said, it was a hassle to try to see how you're gonna mount the GoPro and the mic adapter but this makes it simple it's all together in one uh, one case and it's mounted on the helmet as you can see here the GoPro and the mic adapters right underneath it so it's pretty cool and the good thing about it the thing was only like ten dollars <laughs> which was awesome that's why I was like, yeah, let me give this a try. It's only $10. I purchased it from B&H Video. And it was only $10. So give it a try. It looks pretty cool. I think the case is pretty awesome. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one like I said it just came out for a quick ride try this case out yeah I went on the, the little ride uh, pretty chilly out there it was only uh, 34 34 degrees 35 degrees uh, bundled up and went out for a quick ride just to try this out but again Ulanzi GoPro cover and the GoPro mounts in here on the cover and then underneath you can slide in the mic GoPro mic adapter so uh, I like it man it's it's pretty cool because I was I didn't like the way you know hanging the GoPro from the the GoPro from the helmet and then having to worry about how you're gonna do the god I got helmet head here whatever uh, hanging the the mic adapter off of there and velcro it to the helmet or something this makes it a lot easier one nice neat package um, so yeah like I said it's only ten dollars um, from I got it from bnhvideo.com uh, only ten dollars um, seems seems cool man I mean any <clears throat> audio or video issues is not gonna be because of this because it's just a cover so I really like this uh, there's no sponsorship uh, these people don't know me they don't know who I am I'm a nobody <laughs> so there's no sponsorship um, but uh, really cool product um, so unless I mean, it seems pretty sturdy, <clears throat> so unless it breaks in a week of just that back piece that slides out to put the GoPro uh, in and out, it's really worth it. So if you guys are looking for a way to, to mount your GoPro and your mic adapter to your helmet, this is a nice, neat setup. Uh, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, like comment subscribe thanks for joining me on this little youtube moto vlogging journey uh still new still learning so uh thanks for tuning in subscribe
subscribe guys be safe ride safe enjoy <laughs>